all right so good to be back welcome back to my channel my name is Setson. today i want to show you how we can build games in c so we're going to use a library called sdl so sdl library this one so we want to visit the website for this library so i'm going to click on this and it will open this up sdo is short for simple direct media layer which is a cross-platform development library designed to provide low-level access to audio keyboard mouse joystick and graphics hardware supported on windows mac os linux ios and android so this is a cross-platform library it's written in c but it also has bindings in c sharp and python here you can see there is documentation so i'm going to go to this wiki right here click on that it will take you to this page right here so I want to go to the installation so click on installation and you have installation for different platforms if you are linux or unix like systems this is what you have to do so you go and clone the sdo repo then follow these instructions right here but later on i'll show you the easiest way of doing this for mac os you visit this link and then you just follow these commands right here for windows it's quite complicated for beginners and so we can use another tool i recommend that you install wso which is windows subsystem for linux so that you can run a linux distribution on a windows computer go to your search engine and, and search for wso install and then want to visit this link right here microsoft learn install wso and then it will take you to this website so how to install linux on windows with wso open up your partial so you can search for partial windows partial right here we are in partial you can see by this prefix ps we can run wso dash dash install but make sure you have enough space on your computer for you to host this so you're going to run this it's going to prompt you for a username and a password and so make sure you put in a password that you remember once you finish the installation you go up here when you open your cmd you see this arrow right here click on that you see the options right here you have ubuntu because by default is going to install ubuntu so here you have ubuntu and then you can open that ubuntu and then you are good to go so this is a linux distribution i'm running it using wso the next thing is we want to install our sdo library i'll be using a different distribution it's called parrot os this is my home directory if i pwd you can see this is home sets and this is my user directory we can say sudo apt update to update our packages once we update we want to check whether we have gcc installed gcc dash dash version so you can see i do have gcc installed but in case you don't have you could just search for how to install gcc on linux in your terminal you have to say sudo apt build the essential like that and this will install gcc on your computer i'm not going to run this because i already have gcc installed on my computer once you install gcc then we can go ahead and install sdl for us to install sdl it's quite easy you just run sudo up install lib sdl2 dash dev and this command will install everything that you need uh, to start using sdl And once you're done, we are ready to start building our applications. For us to start building our games, we need to create a C source file. Then we include our SDO. So the way that I'm going to approach this, inside my home directory, if I PWD, you can see I'm inside home and Setson, which is my user directory. I want to create another directory called games. So I'm going to say MKDIR, and then I'm going to call it games. You can call this directory however you want. So if I hit that, if I ls, you can see now I have games right here so i want to cd into that games ls we have nothing in that games because we just created with nothing but if i pwd you can see i'm inside home sets on and games so inside these games this is where we're going to be building our game make another directory here called src which is for source files i'll cd into this src and then i'll clear this ls there's nothing in the source directory but if i pwd you can see i'm inside home set some games and source inside here i'm going to create our main source file which is main.c uh, but you can name this whatever you want as long as it has a .c extension let me include something here hash include 
then we uh, standard io dot h which is our input output header in c we say in main uh, we need that main function and then in arg c vector pointer is an argument vector and it's an array and down here we can have our return value so i'm going to return a zero i'm going to print something uh, so that we can see whether this is running or not so i can print it the game has started that's what i'm going to say here yeah so the game is started da, 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 backward slash n quotation mark and then i close that so i'm going to exit this ls you can see now we have that i'm going to go a folder up into the parent folder for us to run what is in the source directory which is our main.c we can gcc right here i'm going to output this as game inside our source there is a main.c right this is what we're going to compile so that we can output an executable code game if i'm to run this and let me clear if i ls now you can see now we have this executable right here code game for us to run that, we can just say dot forward slash game. And if I hit that, you can see the message that we printed in that main.c says the game has started. Yeah. So that means our compiler is working, our main.c is working. We can move ahead and start uh, working with our SDL library. All right, so uh, in our next tutorial, we're going to start by building the window for the game. If you haven't subscribed to the channel, remember to hit that subscribe button leave a like leave a comment i hope to see you in my next tutorial for now i'm out cheers